Welcome, everyone, to the L7C Podcast, Naruto What If Battle Edition. Today, we are doing our last What If Battle of 2021, and we got the NDP Naruto Forum with us. We got my man, Mr. Cedric. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing all right, man. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We got Mr. Justin Ackendale. How you doing, man? Seen better days. Well, I'm doing well today. We got Mr. Nikolai. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. I can't complain. And then we got the captain, Mr. Byron. How are you doing today, sir? Oh, we're here. We're here. All right, guys. We finally made it to our last What If Battle of 2021. We started this back in February after Cedric's episode about Naruto that he had in January. And since then, we've been doing this What If Battle. It's quickly risen to become one of our popular podcast episodes. Just the numbers don't lie on those regards. And we finally made it to our last one, the Team 7 Triple Threat. Uh, For our fans out there who follow us on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, you saw the thumbnail that was created. Uh, The Team 7s of Team Kakashi, Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, Team Minato, Kakashi, Obito, Rin, and then Team... uh, the legendary signing with the third Okage, Jiraiya, Janade, and Orochimaru. Our task, figure out how this crazy match would go. Uh, the rules and stuff are posted in our chat. They're posted on Twitter for y'all when you guys watch this to see how we did this. We're going to answer some of the questions first and finally decide who would win this fight. So, Byron, since you're right on my screen, I'm going to start off with you. So, who... Byron, who do you think are the three like strongest people out of this right now, out of the people in the fight? Um, this was very tough to decide, but I think the three strongest uh, in this fight are Naruto, Double Mangekyo, Sharingan, Kakashi, and Minato. Ooh, ooh. Does anyone agree with Byron? Disagree? Everyone got a different three? Justin, what do you got? All right, so um, of course I don't know the rules. So, who is uh, who is everyone in contention? Uh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> I, I, I love it. So you got. To, uh, I guess I was for the people listening to. If they haven't seen the thumbnail, it makes sense. Then, so it's everyone in their prime. At, in their prime. So Team Kakashi has DMS Kakashi, Rinnegan Sasuke, and this is from Shippuden. So no Boruto stuff. Rinnegan Sasuke, uh, Sakura War Arc. And then the Sage of Six Paths Naruto version. Uh, Team Minato has War Arc Kakashi, the one that was warped in like eight tails. They have Ten Tails Obito. And then they have Tail Beast version Minato. And they also have Rin with from the Storm version. She has the three tails inside of her. And she's just matured, like grown up. Uh, yeah. Team Kurazin has Third Okage, Jiraiya Tsunade, Orochimaru. Third Okage just. For ages and a factor, he's in his young body with all of his skills that you saw throughout the series. Okay. Um, I guess I'll have to go Ten Tails Obito, Naruto, and then um double manga Q Kakashi. Nikki, what do you got? I got what Justin has. I put mine in order just now. I went Kakashi. Double manga kill, or no, I went um Naruto one, DMS Kakashi two, and then Ten Tails Obito three. Although Minato was right there, he's like four, uh, honestly. Or is you, Nikki Cedric? I have the same. Also, everyone, man, on track. I almost, I man, never mind. I'll say, I'll say that for you. I'm not going to disrespect Sasuke this one. It's supposed to be your turn, not mine. (laughs) Mm, Don't worry, I'll be coming to that soon. Uh, so Cedric, I'm gonna stay with you. Who do you think? This is a lot of strong people. So I hate to ask this, but who do you think were the weakest, like weakest three in this? So my tier of weakness, <clears throat> I mean, he, first is Obrochi Mara. I think he's the weakest person probably in this whole thing, which is crazy. <laughs> I mean, shit. If you've watched and you're listening, you watch our What If Battles the Akatsuki. There's a reason why he's on the bottom. But oh. <laughs> I mean, like all these people. Are strong, like, mm-hmm. and I would say, especially off his team, he may be the weakest one because he can't really, like, sure he's gotten sage 
esque powers, but he doesn't really use them. So, at least with Jirai, he uses his shit. And then, I mean, Tsunade is kind of just eating all types of death shit left and right. So, I'd say him, as far as control of their abilities, I put Ren in there just because while she's still a Jinjuriki, she can't control the three tails. So, once that starts to rampage, and it's kind of like, I honestly think any of these people, besides maybe Orochimaru, and Sonata would struggle, but I think they could fight a tailed beast. Like, and so I have her as the second week, because I probably throw Tsunade in there as a third, only because at the end of the show, God damn it, they gave Sakura that shit. So I think Jiraiya has kind of a great jutsu set and I'm not going to disrespect the third Hokage. I have strong feelings about the third Hokage as far as what he did with Naruto as a child, but I still think that in a one-on-one fight, he he could do some shit and he could do some damage. I mean, even with Orochimaru having to fight him, had to summon reanimations at the first and second just to low-key hang with old guy. And this is like geezer third Hokage. So if, with him, him in his prime, Shipping may be dangerous. So those are my three weakest out of this. Hey, I, I, Justin, how about you, man? And I just realized I posted the questions with some of my answers on it, so it don't matter. But go on. <laughs> I'll definitely say Roji Morrow. He's definitely one of the weakest. I mean, like Cedric said, he had to use reanimation the first and the second. To be the old third Hokage, so definitely that. Um, I think Sakura. I think Sakura's in the um, bottom three. Just that I don't think she is going to be able to take the damage that we've seen Tsunade take. And then, of course, Ren, because this really didn't flush her out throughout the series. Byron? I have the same as Cedric and Justin. Um, Ren or Jamaro and so- Well, I have Sakura. Instead of uh, Tsunade, because I think Tsunade is a little stronger than Sakura because she is the one who taught her. Um, and I think she has way more chakra than Sakura does. Uh, so that's, that's why I think Sakura is weaker than Nikki? Tsunade. Yeah, I got the same as Byron and Justin. Sakura is not beating Tsunade. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, Nikki, I'm going to stay with you on this because the way that we had these rules is that just one person from the team has to survive for them to win so like what matchups do you think teams should try to exploit like who do you think they should try and pick off first like what do you think i mean to tell you the truth it might have to be um Hiruzen and Minato's teams, low-key going at Team 7 off-rip. Just, I think they're going to have to team up to take that team out. Like, yes, they have 10 tails, but anybody on that Team 7, except for maybe Sakura, is wiping the other people. Like, double Mangekyou Kakashi Sharingan is probably wiping all of them, but Obito and, like, Minato. So I think they've got to do that. And then, honestly, they've got to take the healers out. Cause she, I don't know how you take out Tsunade. She was cut in half until Orochimaru pulled up and put her back together, but she was still alive. And then, like, I'm assuming Sakura has the same-ish abilities. Probably not as long to hold out, but, like, it's going to be the healers, and then can they team up to take out Team 7? Okay. The newest Team 7. Byron, you are the resident healer on this chat right now. Do you, th- do you think what Nikki I said am. is right? You got to take out the healers first. Do the other two teams have to take out Team Kakashi first? Like, what are you thinking? You definitely got to take the healers out first. Like, from any game standpoint, like, if you don't take out the healers, they're constantly going to heal the team. You're going to have problems. So you got to take the healers out first. It's probably your number one mission. And then, like Nikki said, you got to take out um, Naruto's Team 7 because low-key, they're probably overpowered. Than the other team seven. Justin, what do you think? 
like what matchups would you try and exploit exploit or what should they try and do if it's me Mm -hmm. if i'm first generation team seven and third generation team seven i'm taking out the second generation i don't want to deal with potentially three-tailed beast oh okay Mato. Okay. Ren and the Ten Tails. Yeah. Then you have double Mage Q2, who's just well, they have War Arc. Is, they so. have they have War Arc. No. War. Oh, War Arc one. One. Mm-hmm. Oh, so the third generation team has double Mage mm-hmm. Q. But yeah, but point's still the same. Like okay. there's three, there's three potential tail beast problems in that in that generation. So if I'm them, I'm taking them out and then leaving. And then um have a head to head fight. Mm, I like that. I, I, that's take out the tail beat. Cedric, how about you, man? I like Justin's I points, mm-hmm. but I would say it probably be more akin to what Nikki is saying, like first and second generation, because part of the thing is if you've seen the people fight, you kind of know what they do. First and second generation have not seen any of the final third generations, like final things. I mean, even if you count like Kakashi as Kakashi, like that's War Kakashi. He doesn't know he gets double manga Q Sharingan. Like, so <clears throat> I'm saying once you see those three roll up and you're just like, what the fuck is this? I think you gotta kind of like, I think here's in Aminato look at each other and say, you know what? Yeah, we gotta do this one time. Like, because that that team is loaded. And they got a lot of eyes. They got a lot like, of It's not eyes even like Kakashi can like just like Kamui then because Sasuke can open up fucking portals too. It's so can double manga Q Shari Kakashi. <laughs> like so you ain't just, just just zapping people away from different fucking universes. Shit, like you low key you low key may want just a scenario to happen just to have a chance to kill Sakura in the in the fucking chaos. Have all three of them like use their tail beast and shit. Orochimaru use some sneaky snake shit and then just try to kill Sakura on the low. Like that's the best shot you got to kill one of them. Because I tell you right now, you ain't killing Kakashi and you ain't killing Naruto. If Sasuke if shit gets real, we seen him running hide somewhere. He'll go to a different oh! dimension. <laughs> like. <laughs> Just saying that he did that with Dayra <laughs> when she was getting blown up. He's like, hold on a second. We got some sneaky shit for you. We're gonna move. Mondo. Like Sakura can't go nowhere. <laughs> so like she's a she's prime Uno target number one. Like, oh, man. That's like you almost want to let shit. If I'm Obi though, or Kakashi's like, Rand just go wild, we'll control the three tails, make sure they don't kill us, and then they'll fuck them up. Orochimaru, you take all the poison on this planet and you pray to God that it's enough to kill Sakura because she ain't got no time to prep that shit. You know, with that said, that's really good because that goes right into Justin's thing. Like, you can't have a squad with three tailed bees just running around. But you gotta do, like, you almost, like, if I, like I said, if, especially if I'm the first generation because I ain't gonna cap. The first generation may get clapped if they don't team up with the second generation. Like, if they ain't on the eight ones and twos, they probably gonna get clapped. 100%. Like, so now they may be able to heal them all, but she ain't beating all these giant ass creatures that come out and form out of chakra. Like everyone, except for fucking War Art Kakashi, is going to be ginormous out here for some reason. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh man! So going into that next the next question, I'm gonna throw this to Justin first because Justin does have the famous quote that we use on most of the Naruto thing: "If you have eyes and you're smart, you can beat anyone in this show." That's Justin's quote. It's 100% true. So in terms of battle, adaptive smartness, Justin, who's the smartest person on the field? Smartest on the field? Mm-hmm. Probably double Mange Q Kakashi. Okay. Man's been through a lot. But I'll say, Orochimaru was pretty smart, too. That's, that's the mad scientist. We got to get the scientists some respect, mm-hmm. too. That's true. Mm-hmm. A man might not be mm-hmm. strong physically, but the man definitely has a brain on him. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't sleep on him being able to concoct something to be able to get the teams. He can Reaper, Reaper Death Steel too. He did he? the, he did the Reaper From Death Sakura? to bring the four Ka- the Kages back, which this still made no damn sense. But he didn't take nobody's soul. True, but I feel like if you can bring, he definitely back, knows the, one too. Just to, just to he give definitely knows the jutsu. He could probably do it. He he has his arms back in this scenario, so he can definitely pull that. Doesn't off. that make the first team more dangerous though? Because they have two people who could do it. 
Because the mm-hmm. third Okage can do it. Because the third probably third yeah. probably gonna take out Ten Tails. Realistically, if Team Seven got wiped after a team up, somebody got a Reaper Dead Steel Obito. They're not taking them out hands. So that's one right there. And then you just gotta pray that the other Well, Nikki, who do you think is the smartest team? person on the field? I mean, I personally I think in terms of like battles, like smart and like people have been through a lot. I had Kakashi Minato and I did have a Rochimaru just for justice saying that that dude is a mad freaking scientist. Yeah, I mean, I've got the same three. It was between Kakashi and Minato. And until Justin said something, I didn't even think about a Rochimaru, but that is also a very good point. So I'm with y'all on that one. Is Kakashi or Minato? Uh, maybe Minato has it. I mean, Minato. He's been through a lot too. Maybe me though, so, because mm-hmm. he contributed in the war with some ideas as well on like how to get past Ten Tails Obito and what to do. Whereas he was instructing Kakashi on that one, so it's like I feel like I might give it to him just because, just because he's got that experience Iron. on his side. I had double Mangekyo Sharingan Kakashi as the smartest. Um, just because he's been through a lot, like Justin said. And I feel like he knows everyone, like, on each team. So I feel like he would know their strengths and weaknesses. Cedric? Same as Byron. So I'm going to throw it to Byron, and you can do it each team one at a time. So what's each team's great... I mean, Cedric already told the current generation's greatest strength. They could just summon a whole bunch of big stuff. <laughs> you could get rammed through, but Byron, what do you think is each team's greatest strength and their greatest weakness? Um, so I, for the greatest strength, um, one, I had Naruto because he can give his team uh, chakra cloaks and he has mass amounts of chakra to keep fighting. Um, I also had for Monado's team, I had him as the strongest um, for that team because he's the fastest and can plant skills on people quickly to you know, teleport them. Um, and then for Haruzan's team, I have Sonate because she can heal people and she also has mass amounts of chakra. Uh, so I think those would be the three strengths to each team. Uh, for weaknesses, um, I have the third Hokage only because if his Reaper death seal is interrupted, uh, he still dies but the person can potentially still live. Like, when you tried to Reaper Death Seal or Chamorro, um, or Chamorro still was alive, but, you know, uh, the third Hokage was out. And then Ren, um, because, you know, again, she can't control the three tails yet, um, so even though it's dangerous, um, I feel like, you know, she'd be the weakest. Um, and then, again, uh, probably Sakura is probably the weakest. Uh, for Naruto's Team 7. Justin, what do you think is each team's greatest strength and their greatest weaknesses? Let's see. Third generation, Sakura's probably the greatest weakness just because the first generation just has a bigger, badder version of her with Tsunade, so I don't think that she'll just be able to stand. I would say their greatest strength is Naruto because he has full control of um, Sage Mode and he'll be able to He'd be able to at least get hits on um, Ten Tails Obito because, as we know, only Sage Mode really works on him. And then second generation, I'll say their biggest asset is Obito because, like I said, Sage Chakra is the only thing that can really do anything to him. And then their weakness is Ren. Just three tails might go crazy. We don't know what's going to happen there. I'll say first generation's greatest strength I've been reading about the third Okage. The man mastered every jutsu. Just learned that shit today. He was a god so, of Kenobi at his time. I feel that's a I feel that's low key a game changer. And then their biggest weakness is probably just Hirochi Maru's just lack of physical strength. Cedric? Say greatest weakness. Obviously Sakura. For that squad. Uh Greatest strength, Naruto. I mean, something about the end of that where my dude has like all the tail beasts and full control with his sage mode and everything. Uh, 
Rin, same reasons Justin's mentioned. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. I mean, mm-hmm. shit gets out of hand and the Obido or Kakashi is not around, then it's just kind of she's a liability. Mm-hmm. Strength, same with Justin. I'd say Obido, just because you have to have Sage type chakra to fuck with him. Like, just is what it is. And same on the first generation we know is Orochimaru is the weakest link there, but I mean, this is prime third Hokage too. Like, even old time third Hokage was out here fighting a nine tailed nine tails beast in the village. Like, this is mm-hmm. prime third Hokage out here putting in work. So that's uh, what I got. I agree with every most of everyone's. I think my only strength I would change on the first team, just because I think I think t- their teamwork actually might be better because if i remember they fought the whole second war together where they fought uh oh boy in the rain village so i think so hanzo Mm yes i think their teamwork actually is the best teamwork because they've been together the longest that's the only change everything else i agree with yeah that third generation teamwork probably gonna be trash we 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 all know woozy at sasuke you know (laughs) Well, Kill. this whoa, is whoa, whoa, one threat to kill, kill, kill his wife and shit. You, <laughs> well, since well, you know, this be, well, you know uh, what it is. Like, they'll be trying to devise a plan. Naruto's out there fighting on them ones and twos already. I know. Bro, they're all going, they're they're all going ran, one. Ran, ran, ran up that on fucking um, Ten Tails Obito. Just willy nilly. No plan. Well, now we're getting. Well, into obviously, that fight. team actually, I don't know. That second generation team, they've been around with war stuff. That's true. But shit. I don't know how. They well, I'm really trying to think, together. like, I don't know how you implement that, because, I mean, normally Minato will go fight by himself, and then the three of them just listen to the Kakashi. <laughs> and yeah. last time that happened, Obito lost half his body, so... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. So, Cedric brought up Sasuke, and I, I don't have him as the greatest week. I do have him as a problem. Because I just want to, because now we're just getting into how we think this fight would go crazy stuff. I'm going to ask y'all, is Sasuke stronger than anyone on the second generation besides Rin? And if he is, by how much? Okay. So, look, man. I'm going to be honest. I don't think he's stronger than Minato. <laughs> I don't think he's stronger uh, than Minato. Yeah, I those are, so, okay. Look, look, let's just go ahead and get to the point you want to talk about. Okay, let's just Sasuke talk about the Rin and Dom, right? Yes, but let's just get to the point where we're talking about Kakashi, okay? No, because we already he's... know the first two are probably moot. Like, they no fucking way Sasuke, I think Minato because mop Sasuke low-key. Like, <clears throat> I think Obito is a problem because Sasuke he's, is not, he's not, not going to hustle he's, this nigga. Like, he's not beating Obito. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's not going to do that. But like, So the only point of contention, because we know he's beating Ren. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the only point of cont- contention is War Arc Kakashi and versus... That, I, Souped up Sasuke. Like, this isn't like, right? This is souped up Sasuke. This is souped up Sasuke. And I do think Sasuke is stronger than him at this point. The problem is, I think Kakashi could still give him a little run, which I think that's a problem for Team Seven. If you got two and a quarter dude who can whoop your third strongest I mean, dude's ass. I mean, listen, I hear you. <laughs> but I guess my question is, how is this finished? How is he finishing him? Who, Kakashi? Yeah, or, because uh, you can't oh, pull him away because he can transport to dimensions too. Oh, that's true. I don't think he. I don't think that version would beat that Sasuke. Now, Double Monkey, he beat Sasuke's ass. Oh well, I mean, listen, okay. But I I just think Sasuke's gonna run into this fight, and he's gonna get his ass whooped. But that's listen. That's what soccer is for. Actually, Loki. That's what Kakashi's there for. Kakashi's like the fail safe for that entire squad. I mean, if you've like, we've seen throughout this series. Anything go crazy wrong where shit just starts to hit the fan? Kakashi and lose like, hold on a second. Let, let's let's just reset real quick. Let me let me save your ass. Save your ass. All right, you two, chill the fuck out. We gotta get this dub. This is what I need you to do. Like, yeah, because this Sasuke too, and because Nikki already said what in the text messages, he can't even do like the cool stuff. He has no Indra's arrow because they're non-existent. So he's just he's nope. basically using his nope. Uber eye. Because, like, he don't use it that's for anything Yeah, that's else. all he does. Well, and he has two arms now, so he can do hand signs. That's true, because I, I know Justin gets mad about Damn. Sasuke's written and gone. Yeah, that's, that's, that's their bet. Like, that's literally their fail-safe and their only chance if things really get bad, they're going to combine. Yeah, I know. He, he does, like, 
he has it. It's not as good as it normally would be his running on Sasuke's, but he still has it, which is one more eye than the Warrock Kakashi has. And then they can do Susano. I think Warrock Kakashi will have a hard time beating souped up Sasuke. Like, come oh, on. Now. I agree. But mm-hmm. Susano, D- double manga Q, yeah. That's that's a wash, but that that's Sasuke's OP. I, I don't know. Well, as Cedric said, souped up. But when you really look at it, I don't know about OP. Like, the only dude he came back and did the trading places thing. He wasn't like souped up like Naruto was doing more against Kagi than Sasuke. Sasuke really didn't do shit. Mm-hmm. Obi Tinto Obito can get sealed faster than Madara and Kaguya. Oh, oh yeah. Like that eternity seal where they touch their hands and shit. Like I bet you he gets ass gets sealed quicker than Kaguya mm-hmm. and Madara. I bet you he gets beat up a lot more by Sasuke too at that point. Cause Sasuke or not Sasuke, but I mean uh Naruto Cause he ain't got too. no limbo. He ain't got no no invisible clones out here saving yeah. his ass. Yeah, he's not he's not Madara because Naruto mm-hmm. they've got the same. You're saying that with Naruto, and I, I agree, Nikki, but like Sasuke if Sasuke went to go fight like, yeah. with that eye, no, yeah, not Sasuke. He can't do what? He can't do limbo with that running gun eye? No. No, he, he can bro. see limbo. No, that's, 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 that's only Madara. <laughs> <laughs> bro, only listen, the only person who can do limbo is Madara. Sure that's like, Madara's Nagano on. couldn't do limbo. Yeah, yeah. Obito can't do limbo. You're right, Pain couldn't do it either, but Sasuke's is that trade. Yeah, place and which will come in. I'll pull it this. It'll come in handy because yeah. they'll do their, their typical shit. A demon wind shuriken flying through the air towards Obito, and <laughs> they'll fucking like come towards it. Like Kakashi will throw that bitch. Sasuke and Naruto will put their hands in the middle of it. Sasuke will trade place of Obito and try to seal Obito. But what There's if, part of your episode. But what if Minato has the marker on Obito and he gets warped <laughs> away? Because Minato there too now. Yeah, but Minato doesn't know they're about to seal his ass. That that is true because Minato, like Byron has said, true. that is a fast dude. Like he hey. might come. Sasuke yeah. could warp to his kunai. Hey well, man, Minato might there. do a freaking Boruto to Sasuke and stab that Rinnegan out quick. He got the ability. He got the ability. <laughs> Listen, you think Sasuke is not going to be Susando up throughout this entire fight? Like you see who he fighting. Hey. Sasuke ain't had no Susano against Boruto yeah, when he was possessed by Momoshiki. <laughs> like Sasuke was arrogant. That was stupid. <laughs> Sasuke ain't walk- more arrogant Listen, now. Bro, there's like six people he's about to fight. All of them name brand niggas except for probably Red. <laughs> <laughs> like all of them considered to be Kakage- Hokages except for Rin and Obito because Obito left the village and Rin died. Oh, <laughs> like, I'm just like I'm just seeing man like. This man, Sasuke, is just... I mean, he's strong, but... I, I mean, I didn't have him in my top five. I'm gonna keep a buck, so... No, I well, No, but, like... like no, first of all, two of his... Two, well, first of all, he's not... Well, he may be five. If anything, he may be five. Maybe. And it's, like, a strong-ass maybe, because... Low-key? I'll be real. If the third Hokage had an eye, he'd be on this bitch. Oh, he'd whoop his... First of man, yeah, he whooped his ass. And also with Sasuke Susano, who brought that up. True. Remember, this is the same dude, Susano, who's been owed the whole series at each point. Oh, hold on. It isn't as bad as Madara. That nigga got pulled out of his Susano. <laughs> he did, but then you got to see his eye <laughs> transform to the Rinnegan. If that his eye crazy. did not transform oh, for he plot, been dead. <laughs> it was a wrap. <laughs> but, but it did, though. <laughs> but it did. <laughs> like, his ass got saved. So you, I'll put it like this. Even if you pull Sasuke out of his Susano, who going to teleport? His ass just going to move somewhere else. That's you true, ain't getting the drop I on do, this nigga. Like I said, if he gets... Hold on. If I do... Man, Nikki, he made that move look weak. We just see... Right, let's just replace enough. Itachi with Sasuke. First of all, no, that's let's, cheating. Let's, let's, let's just cheating. replace him. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get the third generation Itachi. <laughs> said, oh, then let's see who wins. Wait, but Cedric, I do want to say something about the transportation, though, because if I remember when they fought Obito before they found out it was Obito. Uh Killer B asked Kakashi if everyone's like space time ninjutsu went to the same place. And he was like, No, only I mean, I guess Sasuke can get out of there too. But it's yeah. like he's going to a different place and he might, he might you know. So I'll be like this. You saw him chase Kaguya I did. all around the fucking that's world. True. Good point. Good point. That's a good point. Byron. Like that bitch went to a snowy place and then a sunny place. What the I fuck know, is that this? Was, that was woos. He he was so trash that whole fight. <laughs> he didn't do shit. But really him? 
I mean, he really Shit, was, I, think, I know one character on that squad who literally just sat there. I, well, well, the entire last episode I know just one sat too. there. Ah, uh, well, she got the same. But no, she got so the same amount of hits as Sasuke. Shit. So did Naruto low key if he ain't do the sexy. First of all, let's be real. If this wasn't the show, then Kage wasn't like first like. When he did that fucking shit, I literally started dying at the end of it. Because real life, he ain't doing that to none of these people. Uh, he could do it to Jiraiya. Man. Yeah, but Jiraiya's gonna know it's he Naruto. Could. Like, Jiraiya yeah. ain't no... And here but Jiraiya coming, Jiraiya's coming in with the sage mode. It's sure it's not it's not perfect, but still a sage mode. Um, Nikki, how are you feeling? Like, once we actually get into the fight, like, what's happening? Like, who's teaming up with who? Do you see some alliances? Like, what's going down? I don't know. This battle's hectic. Because I'm just wondering, when does big shit get summoned, and who's taking out the big shit? Because if Rin goes into three tails, that's cool and all. He's really not going to be a factor to me, in my opinion, as a three tails. Because if somebody goes big and just whomps her ass, she's done. doesn't matter. Like, if Naruto summons Kuruma real quick, hits her, it's over. I think it's hectic, because I think it's going to be, realistically, it'll probably be Minato. Obito, Kakashi, Naruto, and maybe Sasuke left. Unless Sasuke gets picked off. But I think it might come down to just a 2v2 and what That's a happens very interesting there. Thing. Byron, what do you got? That's a very, I like that. Thank you. I, I don't know. This is very hard to, I mean, I know who I would think is going to win. I think Naruto. Do all of them make it out? Do all of them make it? Just, I don't know. I don't think soccer is making it. I got a question though, real quick, because we just mentioned soccer. How are they killing soccer and uh just getting ready Sonata? to say that? How are we gonna kill Sonata? Well Sonata can there. get warped. Let's just keep like, it above. Unless... She can get commute. Yeah, true. Yeah, so can get soccer. Warped, and so can Sakura. I guess that's a good point, but it's like if they don't and they hold out, it's like who's gonna kill them, you know? Like if they do protect well, I wanna humans. bring up what healer too, because do you remember that like I guess Depending on how, because Minato, they got some smart people on that squad. They don't have to make Rin transform, like make her go crazy right away. Because do remember, like in the, mm-hmm. she was already at Sakura's level of healing when before Sakura got the little forehead thing. Like she was already a healer on their first mission, like when she was a tuning at 12. I mean, I'm not going to yeah, say true. keep her like that because mm-hmm. I mean, uh, you, they kind of need you to just start throwing tail beast bombs all over the place. But but she got baby heels, so <laughs> I, I, don't, I mean, because Byron, you think like, do you think it's gonna? They're just gonna walk in and like all of them. You said Sakura might go down. You think she's the only one from Team Seven who goes down? Probably not. Mm-hmm. But also remember, he's only done this one. But Naruto can heal too, because he healed a um, guy when he was all after he did the eight tail. No, he tells that. Like, Eight seal. I feel like Naruto's gonna be he's gonna be getting attacked by everyone because everyone knows he's the strongest one. You might have to take him out. Not the original team seven don't know he's the strongest one, only Sonata. Well, I mean, what's the point? Justin. I, 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 I was gonna say life, I feel though. like like when you see this <laughs> man show up with the cloak and his like fiery self out here, you start to think like that may be an issue. Jiraiya will know. He'll be like, that's what I am. That's the ending of my book right there. Sure. Just standing right before me. Mm-hmm. Well, teaser for 2022 for the fans. Justin, what do you think's going down, man? Man, after listening to all the conjecture, I think Generation 1 and 2 are just about to team up to be up Generation 3 at this point. Mm-hmm. They, yes, they are, they're just going to be like, fuck it. We can take out Sakura. And we could probably get, take out Sasuke. Let's just put our fucking heads together and let's do it. Okay. Because, you know, teaming up first generation and second generation, there's only, so that alliance has one of the Sage users, users already. So that's one person that can't really do anything with Obito. Mm-hmm. Taken away, and then got Warrock Kakashi to try to stop the dude with the double mind cue. I think they're, the first two teams are going to try to team up to beat the third generation. Okay. If they do that, do you think the third generation team's out? If they just fully focus on them before fighting each other, do you think the third generation team's out? And who do you think's left after the first and second after they do that? Who I think is left? Mm-hmm. 
I think second generation is going to hide Ren. They're just going to have her chill in the back, heal. Let's see. I think, I think Obito can take out Sasuke. I think he's taking out Sasuke. And I think the only one who's still going to be standing from that third generation is um, Naruto. I think Orochimaru might get hit. He might be he might be eliminated from it, and everyone else is still standing. Okay. Cedric, what do you think is going down, man? Like, how are you seeing? Like, do you think they have to team up like Justin said? Do you think people are going to try and have individual matchups? They'll definitely have to team up because I mean, I'll keep it truly one hundred. None of those teams individually in a three four on four fight is beating the third generation. Agreed. It's just not happening. There's too much power there. <laughs> so they'll they're gonna have to team up. Mm. I honestly think double Mageku Sharigan Kakashi would be the last one standing if like the last one of that new generation, if they were successful, the first two were successful, it'd be him that they'd have to finally like try to put down because I mean throughout the show that man takes fucking this dude low key is like a main ass character. He'd be taking get his ass whooped at times and be like on the brink of death, still there, just like nah, we ain't done yet, type of Kakashi shit. Kakashi always be almost dying. And Bro, that's he's why, always like, fighting the strongest people. I, I'm not I'm not saying that's a slight. I'm just saying he always on the brink of death. And that's why he'll be there. Like I know he'll be there at the end. Like honestly, as far as teams likely people likely to team up. I think the first and second generation team seven is probably the more likely team up just because close in age and generation and knowing as far as like everyone on that squad kind of knows of at least generation one because they fought through what three wars together. Yeah. So Sasuke, uh, the only way Sasuke is teaming up with anybody is if literally he has absolutely no choice. I mean, Naruto may team up with them. He ain't going to listen to them. Like, the closest bet he has is with his dad. Now, if you talk like feelings and emotions and shit, there ain't no way he's going to kill his own son. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just saying, ain't no way he's going to kill his own son. Man, it was, a de- it was a death match. Come on. Don't, don't start saying right. shit about emotions. And shit. I'm just saying shit. Throughout this whole year, we talked about <laughs> lots of people in these what-if battles. Like... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it honest though, I, Cedric. I agree. I agree with you, but I think Nick. I know Nikki's big on. Him. I think Minato's coming in. He's doing effing damage. He's doing. I think damage. for them to what like, I honestly, I'll keep it. Real. I think the third generation would probably win somehow, not with plot or anything like that. Just because, I mean, their weakest person is Sakura. Mm-hmm. You could do the same thing that you planned on doing with Ren with Sakura. That's true. As far as death mm-hmm. and everything like that, sure, I heard people talk about Reaper Death Seal, but don't forget, niggas can run a Reaper. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Like, if so- <laughs> in Naruto, does like, Sasuke Kara said- do that? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of shit that man can't do. <laughs> well, does he want to sacrifice <laughs> himself? I'm does he have a path to do that? <laughs> I'm saying, with, and what Byron was saying, like, Naruto oh. stopped Guy from dying. Oh man, dub. No. <laughs> Sasuke wasn't. <laughs> Justin was about to get mad. <laughs> like Sasuke is literally just here, so to like occupy people because it's going to take at least two of them. Like Sasuke may not get one on one. I don't know. I think it take at least two of them with that fucking Renegon eye because I didn't see Obito use shit with the Renegon. That's true. He was just there. Oh man, he was. And he Naruto's was- going to make all the fucking yeah. clones in the fucking nation. With fucking tail mm-hmm. beast shit. Each of them doing different tail beast bombs, Ross and Shuriken shit. Like that nigga cheating. I have a question though, because I'm, I'm on my I'm on true. Nikki's boy Minato, because this this dude got his arsenal's immense. If Minato's fast enough to touch Naruto's stomach, do you think he can real reseal Karama? If he does that, does that change your guys' face? I don't know because because Naruto opened the seal voluntarily though. Yeah, once they became friends, like once they became, yeah, friends, true. Yeah, yeah. So he could do it. Yeah, you're right. But I'm yeah, just saying he has work. full he has full control over her. So even if he does seal her, can he just rip the seal right back off? And plus he has a super sage power. He souped up Naruto. That is souped up Naruto. I don't but know I'm just if saying if for that's that gonna be split. enough to seal it. 
But that split second, if I'm uh, just saying hypothetical, if he steals for a split second, could he get picked off right then and there? Because it's done. Nah. You don't think so? I don't think he would. I don't think he'd get picked off because you said a split second. The person doing the ceiling can't be the person doing the attacking because remember, he has two other people who could teleport him out to seal it right back up if it's really that dangerous. Like, not true. Sure. Not true. Sure. Because that boy, I mean, he got all the ceilings. He's fast as hell. He got his. Because I mean, it's literally like he's, I'll be honest, like, He's the fastest person and arguably the only person I could see attacking just straight up, just like, I'm in here because no offense to Jiraiya, but well, I ain't gonna talk about Roshimaru. Roshimaru ran they ain't they ain't they ain't on the attacking side. Like <laughs> no. Roshimaru will be <laughs> sitting there getting- Obito's your support mid-range character because he has to somehow protect the like Ren from dying because he's he's a Jinchuriki. Tentail, so he probably has the most flexibility as far as mm-hmm. everything. Sure, you could throw Minato forward and backward, but you need Minato on the assault because if he's defending, then someone's getting fucking smoked. You know, Orochimaru might just turn into that big white snake again. Yeah, he's getting killed. Stop. <laughs> and, and, and what the hell is that snake going to do? I'm just saying, is everyone's getting, getting cut, slice that snake no, up? Stop. He's if getting killed. Everyone's getting All big. Right. He has to Bro, get he, big No, too. listen, listen. They summon their shit. To, Crazy part thing about this fucking new team seven is because they steal everyone's shit. They summon in the big shit too. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> so we gonna have giant toads, slugs, right. and snakes out here fighting on the battlefield too. If you really want to get down to it, okay. Here's my what if. I'm changing the whole rules up. All right. How about what we re- <laughs> on Generation One? How about we replace Orochi Maru with Mandarin Uchiha? Excuse me. All right, and then. <laughs> uh, why would we do that? No, <laughs> because if we do in that, then I'm replacing Sonata with the first Okage. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's pure cheating. <laughs> all right, all right. So here, here, here's what I want to do. All right, we replace Orochimaru with Mandare Uchiha. What? The and then we get rid of Sasuke. What? And we play Itachi on on Generation Three. Justin Sasuke is stronger than Itachi at this but, point. But hypothetically. <laughs> We give him into our mind to shine. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> so, Itachi would any Itachi would have limited eyes as OP, but Sasuke's stronger than him and right now. Look, if you you at least gotta keep it generationally correct. If you're I gonna know, do that, I know, I know, I fucked it up. Itachi then kick the Obito out. <laughs> kick Obito out and give yeah. them. Itachi. <laughs> yeah. After I said, I realized I fucked up. Well, there was this. What about that woozy? makeshift i guess quote unquote team seven before the second guy like him leading with the third donzo stop that, that <laughs> <one>. <laughs> you can't even name the last person <laughs> <laughs> he was some woozy uchiha. we only know two we only know two donzo and the third okage the I reason mean, that's why a, that's it was a, a pretty strong uchiha. team i mean the second okage you know he's come going for come on come on now come on now <laughs> They're like you don't even try to sell that shit this way <laughs> yeah Oh, so that's a pretty strong team. Yeah, right. Donzo, before he stole the Uchiha eyes, is getting fucking smoked. So what if you made a super... You still have Prime Hizan, though. <laughs> and then the second... That's not even Prime Hizan. That's in the war before he was fully realized. So if you make it more interesting, though, you take out Kakashi, and you give him Yamato, and you take out Sakura, and give them Sai. Does that Team 7 win? <laughs> First off, size probably still the weakest. Hold on, second generation will clean it up. Oh, no, really clean like, it up. No, you ain't just going like down, like just literally like pour all this water and bleach on their squad and uh, not they do shit to the second generation. Because like, like, you gave them Whoa. fucking ten right. tails, Obi <laughs> though, out here. I'm and just like, saying, and I'm saying like, it for nah. Justin because Justin's a Sasuke believer. Nah, nah. If you're gonna do that, give them. Regular ass Obito, just off brand normal Uchiha, who besides plot ain't got shit to do with any of this. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, we take out. Y'all got, I'm just saying Sasuke should be able to take them all out, right, Justin? Did I say that? No, I'm just saying you're a Sasuke fan. Am I? <laughs> you on two podcasts ago, you got mad at us. Did you give them him. Yamato? But you gave them fucking Sai. What is Sai gonna do? We saw what happened when they were fighting the Ten Tails by himself. <laughs> Sai almost got killed. <laughs> like, talk about I'm part of Team Seven Two, flying on his bird, trying to draw and shit, get spears thrown at him. 
He really that nigga did. couldn't beat a primal village. How the fuck is he gonna beat these guys? Such a waste of a character. Um, well, just I mean, you brought up Tsunade. Like, how they gonna kill her? You think Tsunade? I mean, what, is she gonna be running up to these Susanos, punching them in the face? Other than being warped, I don't know how you gonna kill her. The bitch is able to Shit. still. I'll tell you exactly how it works. Being bisected. <laughs> you remember when when Madara looked at them and said, "How about I give you guys? Do you guys like to fight four on one?" Or what was it? Five on one? How five about you guys each five? Five oh, six six for each of you. Naruto could do the same shit with tail beats. <laughs> so oh no. Oh he damn, he could. Well, so how about y'all fight five karamas each? Uh-huh. Is, is Naruto gonna do that though? <laughs> since, since, we, since we brought emotion into it, I, I don't I don't think Naruto is sensor enough to do that. O- only a slimy bastard like Mondra mm-hmm. Uchiha could think of some shit like that. Shit, I think so. Look, he he, <laughs> he did it in the one movie against <laughs> What's-His-Face had the three, four, and one big-ass fucking Cerberus Karama. <laughs> oh, I'm weak. Nikki said people are getting sealed. Nick, you think that move's in play? Ooh. I don't know. They might. If you could get a one-on-one, you could fuck around and steal somebody. Yeah, I don't know how realistic it is, but that's always that's always lurking in the back of the mind. Because I don't even think about Minato. He knows all the ceiling juices. He knows juices we don't even know. Minato, the real deal, man. So is he's on. He's on. Probably I, knows all that ceiling shit too. I mean, the best juice that they both used for ceiling was a Reaper Death Seal, and it kind of worked, and it kind of didn't work for both. Of them. Well. Well, there were yeah. also circumstances involved with them, with one having a finger <laughs> through him. Not just him <laughs> and his wife. I know. Well, he got fifty percent. Okay, he got fifty percent. Like I said, it's better than it's better hey, than he's on. He's on got like maybe twenty percent because he took away that. So what's the? So imagine if they actually get the whole thing on, then it's over. I don't know. I don't know if they get the whole thing off. Well, um, who's getting sealed? Who's getting sealed? Nikki, who getting sealed? Realistically, somebody got to seal Obito oh, at some point. I'm telling you the two. I've... If you if they teamed up and took out seven, you are gonna have to seal Obito. Oh, uh, easy targets for sealing <laughs> are Orochimaru, Rin, and Sakura. Low key, Tsunade because they ain't got eyes. Even Jiraiya because they don't got eyes. Jiraiya Sage Mode ain't making a difference. They don't have eyes. How are they getting out of shit? Like, but they're smart. I'm they got saying, some like, <laughs> like, I, I, I honestly think new generation Naruto Sasuke seal Obido. Okay, so you that, said they're going for him first. Yeah, that that's the that's the that's the easiest thing for them to do with him. If they don't want to worry about that nigga, seal his ass. Like, just real quick, because mm-hmm. we didn't really see him use that much of the power. Like, we know like. They'll do some weird physical aspect shit, but like if they were I wouldn't say get struggling against the uh, Jinchuriki Madara, they were fighting, like honestly fighting Jinchuriki Madara before Kaiga showed up. Tintel's Jinchuriki Obito is weaker than Jinchuriki Madara. Mm-hmm. I think they'd be able to handle that a little bit quicker, especially with a double Sharingan or well, double Manga Q Sharingan Kakashi as support. That's their best bet. Orochimaru going to kill himself somehow. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, his... Bro, he survived the Totsuko Blade. I don't know, Yeah, bro. but, like, he's going to kill himself somehow. Like, like somehow. <laughs> like, this dude's going to be running in there trying to, like, <laughs> on some overt mad scientist shit, like, I need to collect these bodies, like, and his ass is going to get smoked somehow. Like, because the thing is, even if he, like, I'll play this. Even if you master plan this type of shit, and Orochimaru somehow has all his reanimation somewhere that he can just pop up and spring on this whole place and make a fight like everyone fight these giant ass armies of rebirth ninja. Some of these motherfuckers can really knock their shit out and they can't fucking reanimate. I think for people who can do like Orochimaru and them, their job should be picking up uh, Minato's kunais because they're going to be all over the place. 
Hey, he gonna wow. be. Hey, I'm just saying, if they're all over the place. You can get smoked. Man, you gonna get, I would say you gonna get someone smoked too. They're gonna teleport to Kuna as they grab it. I was about to say, is anyone stabbed. fast enough to be able to do that shit? You gonna try to pick up the shit? You just gonna throw right. another one and slice you up? Well, no, I'm saying I, he just gonna teleport that one, the I, one in your hand. You gotta go yeah. get stabbed. I'm just saying, you gotta close off the field. Guy. Teal, they're gonna be all over the place. Man, you pretty much just said clear the battlefield, clean it up. <laughs> 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 He's gonna see you touching it and then just teleport to it. Like, um, like your ass is gonna get hit with a fucking like the video game, get hit with fucking Ross saying oh, that shit. Hurts. That shit. Hurts. <laughs> dude, dude, <laughs> like get your ass blown the fuck up. Well, we gotta let's bring... keep it 100. Mm-hmm. I know for a fact that Rojimaru ain't eating this fucking Ross Oh like, hell, <laughs> not a level one, not a level <laughs> two. Oh hell no. I think it's disintegrating. <laughs> Justin, his body falling off. <laughs> so, Justin, who do you think? Because we uh, we got to bring her up. She's the most. Who do you think Sakura could beat out of all these people here? Like, if she got if she got warped to a different dimension and she was separated from her team, who do you think she could beat? There's only one. I was, there really, is only one. It'll have to be Ren, and she'll have to pray that Ren don't go three tails. You don't think she could beat Orochimaru one on one? This Sakura, this version. <laughs> As opposed to another version. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the strongest yeah, she Sakura. Can, <laughs> she can probably beat Orochimaru because I think Tsunade would whoop the dog shit out of Orochimaru. So I can, I can see Sakura putting up a fight. But it's, it's only those two. Actually, shit, probably not Rim. She goes three tails. So yeah, probably only Orochimaru. Do you think it'd be easy? Like low difficulty, mid? Of high? course not. No, this won't be hard. Okay. Fucking Orochimaru. Orochimaru ain't no bitch now. <laughs> still alive, but... Like he'll see Sakura and be like, for real, this is who they sent? <laughs> he would. And then anytime she would try to punch, he turns that slimy little snake and maneuver around. Oh, yeah. that'd be a bit. Oh, that's just going to mm-hmm. remove his head to the little, t- like the weird, like big ass neck thing as he's like weaving <laughs> around her punches. Bro, this, actually, this, this I don't know. Mouth. Actually, keep it 100 because Sakura right. like, has great co- chakra control with the punches and all that, but we've already talked. She's too linear. Remember, this mm-hmm. dude, Orochimaru, was the one who messed up the fourth Hokage seal on Naruto to make his chakra out of whack until Jiraiya fixed it. So, like, what if he messes up Sakura's chakra? Then she's non-existent. <laughs> I'm telling you, I find I hate that girl. So it's just so. Who put a seal her on sense, I don't think that would happen. So <laughs> how about say who put a seal on soccer in the first place? I, I'm, I'm just saying, Orochimaru, Orochimaru just knows how to do <laughs> shit. Like said, I mean, like uh, Justice. I said, mean, your you best bet is him to probably try to put a curse mark seal on her, bite her on the neck. That's that's about as good as you get. But I don't know. I don't know what the problem. Like, what her fucking full on healing hands shit can protect her against. I, I don't know. Orochimaru might just hide. He might put his four little wall things up. <laughs> I mean, you yeah. think like, like he'll, they'll both just go, he'll go yeah. into a summoning battle because he'll summon Manda, she'll summon Kaguya. I mean, if, I mean, you heard fucking Orochimaru when he was rolling to try to help Sa- Sonata. He's like, if I'm wrong, you can squirt me with your ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> so if she, there's acid <laughs> pouring all over the fucking place, I don't know. Honestly, I'll I'll keep it. I think it's going to end like a fucking cartoon. Like she's going to tie this man like a balloon animal. <laughs> <laughs> just, just tie up a bunch of fucking snakes, make him look like fucking bows and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like this man. <laughs> like that's all she Once can he do, goes she goes, full <laughs> white snake on her, she just starts ripping I'm up fucking dead. snakes. Just, just, I'll make it try to sound like shit. <laughs> like it's the road runner and Wiley Coyote. Wow. Oh, hell no. I was thinking more Bugs Bunny, but I, I hear yeah. you. <laughs> that was funny. But I, I, I do. <laughs> I, I always think the last two standing are going to be DMS Kakashi and Naruto. I think everyone else is dead. Yeah. I agree. Um, Sasuke's finding his way to get smoked. I'm sorry. It's happening. I mean, someone's going to smoke Sasuke. Like no, three sure. of them niggas going to kill him. I'm sure it probably me to tell. Probably I'd love if we knew more. I'd love to see that one at battle. Prime third Okage versus Rinnegan Sasuke. Man, the man who knows the most. I would love a prequel instead of a sequel. I've been praying for that 
since they fucking announced Boruto. I've said that. No, it's coming. It, mm-hmm. it, it, has point, to, though, it has to come. At this point, though, like, I, if I'm the writer, like, that writer had to step in and save Boruto's ass. I don't think he really wants to do all this because he knows, like, if you guys make a prequel, you're going to fuck that up, too. And I want to come in here and save that. Um, I think making a prequel is easier than making a sequel, honestly. Justin, who's uh, the last people standing? I feel like the last people standing? Mm-hmm. Um, Naruto, for sure. And then, um, yeah, probably double manga, Kukakashi. And then Cedric? Man, OP. Last people standing, uh, definitely Naruto, BMS, Kakashi. I just don't see them killing souped up Kakashi. Like, my guy doesn't die normal Kakashi, so he definitely ain't killing souped up Kakashi. Yeah, Kakashi with no chopper don't die. <laughs> You give him, you give him Shit, somehow shock. Kakashi with no yeah. chakra. <laughs> <laughs> Kakashi with no chakra still has chakra. This nigga be talking about some <laughs> you have no chakra. I'm still gonna warp that tail beast bomb if they shoot bro, it our way. <laughs> bro, he was like, I'll never forget that. He, he said that and then like it kept going. It's like, oh, I have less and less chakra, but then he's like, All right, be ready for the plan, and then warp the eight tails right in front of the ten tails so he could shoot a tail beast bomb. I'm like. Hmm. The rules don't apply to you, huh? <laughs> nope. Mm-hmm. That's that main character power right there. <laughs> well, didn't he have the cloak at that point and he got his chakra oh restored by Naruto? Because there was, I don't know if that was the same time. Because that's the thing. Mm-hmm. They all got the mm-hmm. cloak. Well, shit, that's how we're doing this. He got Naruto makes cloak up everybody. Because he got saved by Kurama because he was in the uh, Kurama, what's it called? He was in that Kurama body. I got saved. So I think he got his Minato can't, he can't do the for that 10 He doesn't have correct. control like that. He's just Minato alleged. Right. But I, I think it'd be yeah, I think those that team seven, but I think it'd be wild. Do any of y'all think it would end? Well, I know we had the 60 minutes, but do you think it'd end before 60 minutes or like if this was or would it have to take longer? Is this 60 minutes of the anime show or like 60 uh, minutes of our life? <laughs> that's a good, that's a good, that's a good question. 60 minutes yeah, of the anime Because apparently show. like the fucking the, whole. The fight will be like 10 great. episodes long. 10 episodes. Okay. I like that. That's, prob- that's probably 60 minutes. 10 episodes. Okay. I was about to say, cause like the whole war was like, what, two days mm-hmm. and in our time is like 300 episodes. Yeah. yeah. I like Justin's 10 True. episodes. Yeah. I'll be. Each someone getting a little leg up on somebody, and no, I like that. So, so you know, just gonna be like five flashbacks for each one. Like, yeah. <laughs> so easy. So, Justin, <laughs> the, from the end of Shippuden, then, if you had to make a four team, who would you make the four team to beat this team seven? I give them whatever to want. From yeah, anyone you want. Anyone okay, I give them I want? whatever we want. Mm-hmm. Like any powers, whatnot. Oh no, no, no! They have to have the powers they've shown on the show. <laughs> <laughs> the beat generation three. Mm-hmm. Anyone on the show from Sh- yeah to the end of Shippuden? Yeah, I know who he's going to pick. Here we go. Oh, oh man, no. oh, give me Monitor Pain and Itachi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think Pain? You think Pain stronger than Rinnegan Sasuke? Yeah. Yeah. Six Path of Pain. Yeah, I think he can take Sasuke. Absolutely. Someone he can do more of the <laughs> going up in that move. That nigga going to exactly. space with Eli. Oh, no, 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 with summon moves and paid his making move. Yeah, Mario's getting fucking clapped. Loki, sorry, but, but Jiraiya Sensei getting clapped too. Ooh. Oh, he's gone. He's. That Soccer, whole team may get fucking clapped. <laughs> can we just remove that first generation? <laughs> Put Justice Team in there. That would be. Oh, I actually. Holy shit! That's mm. an episode. <laughs> so that because, team versus that. Well, oh my. Hold on, Justin. Wait, only Justin, you three. only took three, so you get one more. I, I'm first. Uh, I get one I got more. Hashirama. <laughs> I said first yeah. Hokage. Oh, oh, oh no, that, that, that's too. Much. You gotta go Hashirama. Oh, oh. Look at the fourth team. Look at the fucking new generation. <laughs> no, that's too that. bullshit. Sasuke right. goes something that Susan on the good. first is gonna <laughs> laugh. He's gonna be like, all right, here comes the Buddha. Now keep smacking it down. First of all, you want to talk about bullshit? You got two Uchihas. All right, here, here, here's my here's my four team squad. We got Mandara, <laughs> six passive pain, Nagato, Itachi, and then we're gonna get Killer Beat. 
Just so, just so we have a nigga there too. <laughs> well, I was probably up. gonna win because Justin, you got you two fucking Uchiha's. You could even make a more interesting. <laughs> what if you, I mean, uh, give him Night Guy. Oh. I think Night Guy smoking <laughs> nah. a lot of them. <laughs> oh. Actually, no, 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 no. War if I could take Naruto, that that if I could so take hard. Naruto and put him with Guy, I would do that in a heartbeat. Oh. Mm. Like we out here just killing everybody. No, you say alive, guy. Let's go kill him again, Ooh. guy. <laughs> this man Justin said, "Nah, I'm gonna leave the first Okage at home. He don't get to come to this fight." <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing I'm pulling up. Honestly, yeah, I only need three. You don't need to give me four. Let me get three. I got six bodies with pain. Let me get three. I'll take three. They may solo everybody. Now, now I will. I will bring in my fourth if it's just like. Re reincarnated um Nagato who just has all the ability. Mm-hmm. So, oh. um, that's a that's an episode for 2022. Well, this was fun, y'all. This was good. Bruh, good stuff. Just, you should have chose uh Tintel Jinchuri Key Madara. <laughs> oh heck no, oh, no. no, that's cheating. <laughs> oh, no. That's too much. He said hours. Oh, no. This nigga gave them Tintel Obito talking about some oh, that's cheating. No. Oh, this, I did. This, re- this I didn't regular monitor. <laughs> regular monitor. <laughs> The one who could drop meteors <laughs> from the sky. Yeah, that's all we need. The, the only reason he lost was because Kaguya the, came back. Clones yeah, that is true. Yeah. That is the only reason they lost. This man really, that's crazy. That's plot. Yeah. That's what I said. I only need three. Let me get that Hashirama, Tinto, Chujuriki, Madara, and then we get Naga, Nagato. Shit, you can low key. I'll be honest. I think they smoking with just regular Nagato. No, really. <laughs> oh, whoa. That regular. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Because who stopped? Listen, Hashirama out there, and we got a Jinchuriki Madara. That's damage. Hashirama is a problem because that man will just take your tail mm-hmm. piece. First no cap. All, we, need, we need to find. <laughs> we need to find a four man team that can beat those two. That's what we really should be thinking of. If you kick and, Sakura and out, and you throw in someone useful. Then maybe yeah, I think can. they could do it. Yeah, you kick out Sakura, put in like. Nagatori Tachi, I think they could do it. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. But fuck yeah, it would. I'd have Kakashi just standing on a mountain. You see any meteors coming from the sky? Yeah. Warp. You gotta kill Madara <laughs> first, because otherwise <laughs> he's just gonna try to take Sasuke's eye if he loses a renegade. Oh! <laughs> and you know he's gonna get it too. True. He might try to take Kakashi. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Too. He did take it last. He was too quick. Yeah, you guys, I tell Kakashi, you got to say that man out here place. grabbing eyes. Fuck Boruto stabbing eyes. This man be grabbing eyes, bare and hand, throw, rip them out of people's faces. Like, bro, he out. killed Sasuke when he was blind. When Madara came back full life blind, he killed Sasuke. Shit, someone had to. He just stabbed a sword. He's like, damn, it's a shame. Threw him to the ground and left. <laughs> That's that nigga wild. had to die somehow. The only reason he was staying alive is because Kari and Sakura was there. So shit, that's just proof the point. Like you can't even survive a sword. <laughs> like, <laughs> so how'd y'all feel about the uh, what if battles getting added to the podcast? Good addition, all that. Definitely a good addition. I like the world. Oh yeah, oh, they're good. I was like, I catch a lot of fucking smoke for my hate of Sasuke. You do? You do get the most smoke on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking about the first one of 2022, and because <laughs> Justin brought up Killer B, and I, I thought about Taka, and then I thought about those four for three take three out. If you did Taka, Versus team guy. I felt like that's one we should do next. Team guy, Neji, mm-hmm. Ten Ten Lee. Mm-hmm. And guy. And guy. <laughs> and because, guy? Yeah, got because four, Taka has four. four members, yeah. Mm-hmm. Against. Oh, yeah, Taka does have four members. Uh, against. Ooh. Yeah. That's the next one. The, I like team guy. Mm. I like that. Oh, with that being said, man, that's be the one yeah. fucking. I'm sorry, give respect to Sasuke. I can't believe that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that being said, thank y'all for uh, making the Naruto What If Battles one of the most popular segments on the L7C podcast. It's been a great first year. 
Can't wait to come at you with season two. Justin's already dropped a bombshell one we're going to have to do when he actually hashes out his team, and we got to do that one in 2022. But with that being said, again, thank you, everyone, for listening to L7C Podcast. Signing out. Thank you for listening to this episode of the L7C Podcast. Be sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all social media platforms, and we'll be talking to you guys soon. Take care.